So this is the top 10 signs of the week for June 25th. And I only emphasize that because two weeks ago I said January when we're in June. And so I'm proving to my friend I can read a calendar because they teach me about it afterwards. So this week, um, so I mentioned how I keep track of all the songs that get different amount of points. Only last time I, I messed up because last time I did this, I did all the songs that had 10 points and somehow a song that had 13 points slipped past me and I didn't notice. So this time I double checked it and these are the songs with 9 points, but I, I like, it, it's it's confusing. I don't ask me. Anyway, number 10 this week, we have uh, Ruthless, that, that nice guy always finished last TikTok song. Really depressing. Speaking of depressing, we have Creepin' and I don't know why I like this song either. Uh, yeah, it, it wakes me up at night sometimes. Uh, right, and then we have a freaking Disney song. We have Can't Bat Down. I, I don't know why. I, I like this song either, but it showed up on a list one time, so, you know. Uh, then we have From the Ground Up, the Dan and Shay song, the song that's actually decent. Now all I have to do is find someone to dance with me to it, so that's, that's progress. Next that's right goal. We have Unholy. This is just really catch on, actually. It's I think it's underrated or overrated or something. It's like, it started out good and I never listened to it. And then like, when everyone was done listening to it, I finally listened to it. I'm like, oh, this is actually a good song. We have If I Die Young by the Vampires at five. We have, let's see. This is me from the, the one from The Greatest Showman. Yeah, I, I don't know. We have Alone Again. I uh, found this on TikTok. I don't, who is it by? Alyssa Reeves. Is that her name? I don't remember her name, honestly. We have Here Without You at two, and we have My Ex's Best Friend at number one. This song is just freaking catchy. Either, so like I liked it a couple years ago when it came out, and then I like kind of stopped listening to it because you know, finding music to listen to. And then Cameron been playing this every time we hang out. So I'm like, yeah, this just got restuck in my head. Also, this kind of describes my current situation with my ex's best friend. So, you know, it, it's a whole a whole thing. So it's a, a double thing where I like the song, but also they're like a meaning below the meaning. It's it's complicated, okay? Don't ask me. But yeah, that that's the list for this week.